All right, today we want to figure out total inductance in a series circuit. Now, we're going to be using an AC power supply. And our AC source is 120 volts. with the frequency of 60 hertz. Okay, we have L1, put this over here, L1, L2, and L3. L1 is 0.8 Henry's, L2 is 0.4 Henry's, and L3 is 0.3 Henry's. Okay, for L total, we treat this similar to a uh, resistive type circuit in series. So basically, for our total uh, inductance, we're going to just have L1 plus L2 plus L3. So in this situation, we have 0.8 Henry's plus 0.4 Henry's plus 0.3. Henry's. And that'll give us a L total of 1.5 Henry's. Now that we have our total inductance, now we can find our inductive reactance. So for inductive reactance, our formula for that is 2 pi F L. Now, pi is 3.14, so what I most generally do is I will go ahead and do that calculation because the less times that you have to push buttons on the calculator, the chances of error are, are less. So 2 times 3.14 is equal to 6.28. Okay, and then we're going to multiply that times our frequency of 60 hertz. And times our inductance. 1.5 Henry's. Okay, so our inductive reactants will total 565 ohms. Now, inductive reactance is always measured in ohms, much like resistance. So now, if we wanted to find our total current, so current, we're going to use simply Ohm's law again, which is our E total divided by, instead of R total, we're going to be using our inductive reactance total. So again, I total is equal to our source voltage of 120 volts and our inductive reactance of 565 ohms. Gives us an I total of 0.212 amps. Now, since this is uh, a decimal equivalent, we want to change that over. So we're going to move it three decimal places to the right, which would be 212, and that's going to make that milli amps. Okay, if we're going to move our decimal point the other direction, then it would make it uh, kilo. So you've got to always make sure that you know how to uh, convert your decimal prefixes.